take it or leave it whatever it is that i'm about to say in this video i'm just gonna be direct it's gonna be more like freestyling yes it's coming straight from me privy cadex i will consider myself a true human because i'm always speaking my mind i'm always saying things like it is you understand i came to united states of america at a very young age so which means i didn't really have the opportunity to say yes or no because my parents came here when i was extremely young you understand there's this thing that people have been doing and i'm kind of like trying to control myself and control my emotions and not talk about it but i feel like it's reached a stage and I feel like, you know, it's time to talk about it because, you know, I've been doing quite a lot of research about it, especially Nigerians, you understand? This video is directly to Nigeria. Now, why do I pick Nigeria? I know some people on my page like, oh, you're always talking about Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. No, I'm not prejudiced. I'm not stereotyping. It's just, I am from Nigeria and Nigeria happens to be the most uh, popular black nation on the face of the planet. And only that, I'm going to like over probably 200 million if we're counting right and at the same time is the center is out of africa and the powerhouse of africa and i feel like nigeria as a country should be representing you understand you know meaning that it should be a backbone to many other black nations and you know standing firm at this age at this day and you know you understand and i noticed that you know based on my research they say that out of all the black nations around the globe, Nigeria happens to be the highest when it comes to like, you know, the children running out of Nigeria, people running out of Nigeria, you understand, because they don't want to stay there. You understand, they constantly apply for visa to Canada, to some other European countries and, you know, North America, Canada, America, you know, whatever you want to call it, you understand. And I've gotten to this stage whereby I feel like, you know, people need to understand one thing. This ideology of being rich or being poor is a state of mind. It's not really physical like the way you think of it you understand it's not so artificial when, when you know when you think of it i feel like you know let me just be direct with you being rich is something that is internal you understand what i'm saying as a rich person it's something that is from the inside you understand is being rich is not you just having money and having houses and having all those stuff when i say it's internal because number one when you have a rich mind whatever it is that you're going to bring out of you it will be rich you understand because you'll be able to survive any surrounding no matter where you are i see so many talented people from nigeria every day and the one that is really really okay calm down that's really really driving me nuts now this is like all these young guys and young ladies you understand they have education they have good jobs you understand look at me i have like at least two or four five friends or maybe acquaintances or whatever you want to call them you have a great job. You're working for Chevron in Nigeria. You're working for Shell, you understand, in Nigeria. And you, your lawyer, whatever it is that you want to call it, and you have a great job. Your apartment is paid for. You even have a car on your leg. You understand? You can get to work every day. You don't have no debt. You don't have no bills. And you're going to come to United States of America to start your life all over again? How stupid are you? You, you come here, lie to the... The American embassy so go there with whatever document you want to go with and you say you're trying to go to America to visit then you come over here they give you a two years visa two year visa means that come to United States you only allowed to stay for two years but for the first six months come when you come the first six months make sure you go back after six months you have a round trip ticket use it they don't say don't come back again I know people that have been coming to United States for a long time they come for that six months, they use that visa, they go back and they come back, they come back and they continue to renew their visa. You're a young person. You believe in your friends. You believe in your sisters and your cousins. Let me tell you something. America is not as easy as you think. There is no friend. There is no sister. There is no mother. There is no father. There is no, none of that damn shit in America. Everybody stand on their home, by their own fucking self. None of that shit exists here. You want to come squat at my house? Let me tell you something. I've done that. I've been here for 23 fucking years. I can tell you in and out of this country. When it comes to the law, when it comes to every damn thing. You put all those things together that you're capable of taking care of yourself. That you can handle your own responsibility. Not privy guests will be handling it for you. No, you staying in my house. I've had many people stay in my house. I've had many people stay in my... Uh, whatever to inconvenience myself i don't have any problem helping people but i need to tell you one thing get it into your mind as a young person if you're not capable don't do it then the next thing you end up on new york street become homeless you end up on on on, on arizona street become useless then you can end up in atlanta and be sleeping in jailhouse or sleeping in shelter when you have a great life before you came here America does not recognize all that stuff. 
America is so also grand individuals according to their home self. Even American citizens with blue passports, when they are homeless, they sleep under the bridge. There are many of us today between God and man, so more than eight homeless people on the street. After they've been homeless for a long time, they will get no choice but to get stuck on drugs. You know what I'm saying? People start saying the reason why they're homeless is because they're on drugs. No, people that went to your university, go read. You see them, they're homeless on the street. America is not a place of love me, I love you, I hate you. People, everybody according to their home problem. According, you see all these people that are living in America, your uncles and your aunties and your whatever. They are staying here, each an individual with their own accurate bay. You know what they call accurate bay? With their own bay, they are an accurate bay. Accurate bay is a calabash. It's like a pot with their own cup of tea. Everybody with their own palava. Then you now end up in Boston. You will now be telling me that you are end up in Boston. After I already advised you that they gave you a two-year visa, six months, use it and get the hell out of here. You can come back again. That is an opportunity for you to use for yourself. Then you think, oh, I'm going to marry an American girl. Then you can get your green card because you feel like the only way out is to marry somebody. Let me tell you something. I don't file for somebody before so I can tell you how it works because I am experienced. You might even call me immigration officer. The thing about it is this. When it comes to that, it's not guaranteed. Some people, they will do it. They will deny it. Some people, they will not even, they will not find nobody to do it for them. They will be walking, walking day and night. The worst thing, our uh, girls will start useless in themselves. Higher percentage of the girls out here, even with their high institute and education, they're doing prostitution. Prostitution in the daylight, not just standing on the street. Private prostitution. My sugar daddy, my aristos, and all those stuff. You came from a good family, you go to church, but at the same time, that thing does not show. Because number one, if you think coming to America will make you get closer to God, it will make you far away from God. If you think America will get you closer to that, your religion, it will keep you far. Because many people, they are lying on so many things just to sustain life over here. You might say, oh yes, I don't lie. They lie on their tax return. They lie on every damn fucking thing. They lie to, to collect assistance from the government. They lie on many things in order to sustain out here. They are lying. And the worst part, you will now go get a second-hand job as a female. And your boss will be trying to sleep with you because you're trying to, to make ends meet. You don't have paper. Four years, three years, two years. People, people are stuck. Now you are stuck in this country. You cannot leave the country. You don't have money to sustain your life. You don't have nothing for yourself. Even me as an American citizen, people that even have the good education to get a job, they're still struggling. Talk less of somebody that you don't have anything. It's horrible. You don't have an education, you will suffer in America. Even when you have an education, you have to plan yourself well. Because they have what they call three credit based system. Three credit based system, that means that you, know, you are lucky. Maybe you luckily marry somebody, you get a green card, or you, maybe you didn't marry you, you're lucky. You came on a lottery visa, you got a job, you have a regular life, you have your education, you have things, you get a good job. You have to plan yourself. Don't fuck with your record. That's your first system. Your criminal record is very, very important. Protect it 100%. And when it comes to your driving record, you mess up too much, they will suspend your license. That means you mess with the government. Don't fuck with your credit system, credit rating system. They will rate you, they'll profile you. Even some jobs will profile you. And the last system, which is also banking record, I mentioned three, make it four. Don't mess with it. They will scrutinize everything about your life. America is not a country. It's a system. You either follow the rules or get the fuck out. People how here that you see that I've been here for 23 years. All out of everybody that say that they want to come here for American dream, I've only seen more be luckily 0.01% that are millionaires. Forget all that fantasy. America is a hustle. Forget all those people that are wearing Brazilian hair. I am wearing Nigerian hair. I'm telling you the fucking truth. As a Nigerian, I see my nation as a rich nation. And some of our leaders are so polluted in the mind that they'll come here and they'll buy houses for rushes and lizards and all those motherfucking shit to live in. And nobody's staying there and their children are wasting their life. Old man, old woman, please can you guys wake up? You are killing our children. You guys are blood suckers. I'm telling you, you are blood suckers. So the kind of thing that will hit you when you die, you, you will never die. It's so sad. Like seriously, our children are useless all across the globe. They're killing them like chickens in Asia. They're over here like a bunch of turkeys in jails. Because after a while they cannot survive, they'll start doing fraud. They will do fraud. They will commit all kind of atrocity in society. And the ones that are legal, they are struggling day and night, seven days a week. 
They will work out, work out. Even the ones that have great job, they don't have savings. And average America does not have $1,500 in their account. In case you don't know how, how much that is. Even $1,000, let let's make it easier. They don't have $350,000. You are calling me to pay for your school, your son's school fee. You are asking me to help you with hey, $80,000. Did I tell you that I have $80,000? Era? I don't have $80,000 era to give you. $80,000 era, do you know how many, how many days it will make me to, to make that money? Did I tell you that, that I did block money for America? Eh? Thousand era, you know what it is. So many times I've seen many of my young friends. You guys don't have responsibility. You don't have no headache. Nobody is chasing you for phone bill. Nobody is chasing you for insurance bill. Nobody is chasing you for car for car notes. Nobody is chasing you for house rent. Nobody is chasing you for nothing. It's true. You finish college, you cannot find education. You cannot find a job. Can you create some? Create a job in your mind. Create, use your talents. The time that you are using to do like this, hey, how am I going to use it? Use it to be the first man that God created on the planet. You to utilize your ability to, to be an innovator. Create something for the government. Don't be ashamed. Ah, yeah, I want to post. I want to post. Yeah, you, you're in the society. You are like this. You're like this. You, you're concerned about what people will say about you. Okay, but fuck. If I was to be in Nigeria, I would be a Gary seller. I'd be a Iru seller. I'll be a Gary seller, I'll be a Ru seller, I'll be a fish seller. Anything to sustain. Richness is something that is up here, not outside. All those ones that are posing with all those nice, nice things. In America, let me not lie to you, they are loans. It is only in Nigeria today that you buy a property and you own the property outright. If you are talking about property that people buy here in America, make I tell you right now. I know people that have been paying for houses for more than 43 years, they'll pay till they die. I know people that have been paying for their mortgage for more than 23 years, they'll pay till they die. There are no people that have been paying for 10 years. It's a lockdown system. It's KG. You don't, American money, you cannot take it anywhere. Unless you see farm, you find a way to, to go through the, all those, your record, record, concurrent, concurrent people that help you do money laundry, which is illegal. You know that. It's not a system whereby you can just come here, just think you can just become rich overnight and you're gonna carry American money. Who tell you that? Even people that are in Hollywood, did they, did they tell you that they are rich like that? Forget all that posing, they're gonna come. If you want me to show you nice car tomorrow, I will go to downtown. Their boys, you go just pay them one time. I go rent Rolls Royce, rent Bentley, and come the post for you guys on or, or as Hollywood babe. America is a hustle grant. It's a hot grant. It's a, it's a country whereby if you don't hold yourself, you will lose your common sense. It's a country whereby people kill themselves. The number one thing that kills people in this country more than anything is homicide. The second thing that kills people is suicide. People will just get tired and just take a gun and just blow their skull. People will get tired and just swallow something. People will get frustrated. They will start having all kind of health ne nemesis. People don't live to be 1800 like in you, you sleep and your children, grandchildren will come stay around you and come they rub your head. No, not here. They will walk to the extent that they start having all kind of heart concurrence diseases. I'm being honest with you. It's not a la la land. It's a hustle ground. America is not just a country. It's a corporation. You either work with the system or get the fuck out. Don't say I'm saying this because I had a hard life. I had a good life. I experienced the good and the bad. I can tell you, if you don't hold yourself very well, you will suffer. Why do you think many of your aunties and your uncles have been gone for more than 20, 20 years? Why, why haven't they built a house, a mansion in your village? Why did your average brother in Africa take them two to three years to build a house? But your auntie and your uncle took them like 10, 5 years to finish even a boy's cutter. It's the truth. There's no money falling on the tree over here. Forget all those Gucci Arumani that your brothers and sisters are wearing. They are from China. They are not original. I have a city of Nigerians that I know in this society, by the way. Even when I was in Maryland, in Atlanta, Georgia, in Detroit, I've lived in many places. Many of them, they are wearing fake. They are not wearing real. I own ticket products. Many people, not all, they are not wearing real. And even the ones that are wearing real, they suffer for it. Many times they will not have money. Because people, you will see dressing them, driving Range Rover, driving Bentley. They don't even have money to put gas in the car. People are struggling here. American citizens struggle. African-American citizens, well, every American struggle. Even the immigrants struggle. Come see Mexico and the way they hustle day and night. It's not easy. It's not easy. 
It's not easy. Please, our young children in Nigeria, you guys need to wake up. Stop running out. You are a lawyer. For God's sake, if you cannot find a job, create your own law firm. Find a way to get your own license. All that money that you go use to contribute from the whole village to, 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 to go to the embassy. Sorry for me, for, for me shouting. When I'm frustrated, I shout. When I'm angry, I shout. I cannot pretend. Forget that one. My shouting is only one time. Just second that. What? Just think I'm like that. This is not a serious, this is not a, a joking matter. I cannot hear stuff like what I hear this evening. And I will just sit down. I cannot. A man will just go to Gavastin Beach and just go run inside the beach. When did our children start committing suicide? Do, I look, do we look like we are from Al-Qaeda? Seriously, I cannot take that as a joke. I'm so sorry, people don't, you do, I don't look for any friend, you don't have to like me. But the thing about it is this, it's not a country whereby all that money that they are gathering for visa, you go to your whole village, your town, your city, your, you go there to go borrow money to buy a visa. That money, tell them to carry it and create a law firm for you and you start creating and start getting your own client. Eh? I mean, like, use your brain to utilize it and do something. Stop blaming the government. Government does not have to, to do every fucking thing for you. If, so if the government says you should die, you too, you will die. You will not survive. If you get to say people can gather together. If a government is not doing something, you gather together and you overrode the government. I mean, like, they're doing it in daylight, in Greece, all around the world. Brazil was fighting for their government. There's, let me tell you something. Right now, make you hear. Go study. Go Google. There's no country on the face of the planet that is perfect. No country. Every country has its own setback and its own issues. America got its issues. Brazil got its issues. China got its issues. Every country on the planet. So people say Nigeria don't get light for many years. I can tell you more than 10 different countries that don't have light as I'm talking to you. Many countries in the world have their own issues. But at the same time, the people still try to survive. Don't just fold your hand and just blame the government for everything. People come here, imagine, they will come spend ten to $20,000 to come give back to American babies because they want to get American visa for their uh, American passport for their children. That money that you are using to come open your... Let me not say something bad. I'll control myself. That money that you are using, imagine, they will carry ten to $20,000 to come have natural bath in America. You understand know what I'm saying? How dare you go carry ten to $20,000 era? $10,000 to $20,000. To come, there's almost 5.7 million to like almost 6.5 million naira to come have natural bat. Hey, hey, imagine natural bat. You travel 13 hours to come push. They tell you, push, you push. That is ridiculous. You want to use that money. You can't even think of how you can join hand with other people. Take that money. Even if you're in Nigeria, you have 5.7 million to like 6 point something million. You can still have the best and the best doctor to have natural bath in your home country. Every year they are spending this money. If you say, oh yeah, they say that when you ask them, they will give you excuses like, um, you know, if you know, my child is born in America, she can have better her bringing. But after you're born, the beginning finish, you go back to Nigeria. Even the beginning will go to regular checkup in Nigeria. After, oh, yeah, yeah, I want my children because number one, you know, uh, international school costs a lot for outsiders. But it's still going to take about 17 to almost 18 years for your child to enter university. That money, if you carry that money, put it inside the best bank in Nigeria. And you put it on CD. It will, it will yield in interests and everything. It will yield. It will grow. By the time your child is that age, you will be able to even pay for that child and pay for additional child. They will carry this money. Come here. Every year, they will carry money, carry money, carry money. They go carry the money, borrow money from the village. You, want, you, you don't even have a good life in Nigeria. But you want, because you want to come to America. I want to come to America. And you lie to American embassy. I know you lie to American embassy. You get sponsorship. You put all the people all together. America is going to give you the visa because, number one, they don't give a fuck. You're coming to spend money in the system and make the economy better. So what do you think? Then after that, you come here and push naturally. You don't have any medical issues. But because you want to have American passport for your child, you will now do everything, pack everything. To you. you don't have to like me. I'm being honest with you. Because at the end of the day, even people that have American passport that they were born here before your child was born here, they're still struggling. 
Oh, because my child can fight for me. Your child cannot fight for you until your child is 21 years old or 23 years old. You can carry that money, do business. Your brothers and your sisters will be suffering. You cannot give them that money to do business. But you carry the money. Come, ah, black people, man. Shit. It's ridiculous. If all the ladies that, all these husbands, all of them gather that money, they will build the best hospitals. Many hospitals out here are privately owned. They are not owned by the government. Why do governments have to do every fucking shit? They are privately owned. Oak Bend Hospital, privately owned. Memorial Hospital, privately owned. You can create all these things for yourself. I mean, like, when is... Go, go, go. When are we going to wake up? American baby. I want to have American baby. Hey, my, son, my, my son and daughter was born in America. Oh. Chances are you might not even live to see them. And they might end up coming here back to America and struggle. Like many of the other kids are struggling. You shut on your daughter, they're not better than Nigerian born citizen. No different. Stop polluting the environment and start making other people feel inferior. No different. Shaking now. You're just a dumb. Dummy. Period. Nothing else. If you say you have medical condition, I will try to understand a little bit. American kids are different from Nigerian kids. I'm not talking about better or I'm just telling you they're different. Nigerian kids are sharp, smart. You don't need to like me. You can't take nothing past them. Burn up Niger kids. Try them. Smart, intelligent. You can have the best in Nigeria. We have the best doctors, the best lawyers, the best engineers, the best of the best. Why can't we continue to grow? Let me tell you something. I'm going to create my own campaign in this 2018. If you are watching me, make sure you vote for somebody that is very intelligent, somebody that has common sense. Don't vote for anybody into that office because God will punish you yourself. Do not do it. Make sure you vote for a young peppy person regardless of where they're from. I don't care if they're Hebrew, if they're Yoruba, if they're Hausa, vote. Young people, you need to vote. Vote for the right person into that office. Not just anybody. Don't vote because they are just Nyongo. Because there are some young people, they are very foolish. All they know is how to blow money. Look at your governors. What have they done in your state? Look at your chairmen. Look at your, 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 your people that are in, uh, what do you call it, National Assembly, whatever you want to call them. Look at all of them. Look at everybody from the lowest to the highest rank. Pay attention. Yes, yes, sir. How can you be telling yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir to somebody that is stealing from you every day and have not done nothing, not a single thing on your, on your street? You'll be entering pato, pato, and you'll still vote for the person. Don't you see that you have been brainwashed? Look at what all these leaders are doing in society. If anybody did not do anything that is nice, fuck them. Do not vote for them. Vote so for somebody that can handle the business. Not somebody that's irresponsible. Not someone that will just carry money and come do, do babe. Oh God, I know say you, they come one minute. You don't even get stamina. I get young boys who go do better than you. You go not carry young girl. Where we say, you, you feel even born the girl, you be grandpapa. One minute, you go just come. And they go not carry the money. Come, they give women. Go, they come, they give any kind of thing. Come, they buy property. Where we say, even after that, they will seize the property. Come, they use less the money in a country that does not belong to them. Make sure you vote for somebody that has done something in the society. And anybody that live abroad, that has lived more than 10 years abroad, that said they want to come run for your country, do not vote for them. Because number one, if you come into Nigeria and you want to rule Nigeria, you have to have something that you have done in Nigeria. I don't care. Kill me, I don't give a fuck. Thunder was you. I'm telling you the truth. Young people, be vigilant. Vote for the right person. Don't vote because my religion say. Who say your religion say? They give you the religion when you were born. Nobody say the thing where you, you were brought up with in society. Environmental environment shaped you. Most religion in the world, if you are born in India, you'll be an Hindu. If you are born in China, you'll be, you, you'll be a Buddhist. If you are born in, in Nigeria, you'll be a traditionist or a Muslim or being a Christian. If you are born in 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 in, in Asia, you be a voodooist, whatever you want to call it. You are born in America, you have every religion, Satanist, Christianity, and you have every damn thing. It's an open religion. I'm 
I'm being honest with you. So don't just believe just my, my religion say. Don't pay attention to religion leaders. Day to day have their suffering and their own pain where they are suffering. Nobody has a visa to heaven. Don't let nobody lie to you. Because nobody, if they have visa to heaven, people will not be applying for American visa. They'll be going to... Uh, that, uh, if, if somebody told you as a person right now that they have visa to heaven, that they have a way that you will just enter heaven, you will not care. You will even burn yourself alive. So don't listen to them. They are just even being like you. It is very, very important that you need to be able to open your eyes as an, in, as an individual. Vote for the right people. Somebody young, peppy. Even if they are older, let me not discriminate against age because people that I know leaders that have ruled many countries around the world that they were older, but they did greater things in society. Even if they are old, make sure that they are honest people. People that have been able to structure something in society, not just for their mouths and their children and their uh, concubines. Not just for that, but people that have shaped your environment. It is very, very important. I am tired of this motherfucking shit. I'm so sorry for my language, Joe, because I'm a woman, I'm born right now. Nobody say, you know, I fight in my country right now. People say, you know, just come to Nigeria, come to Nigeria. I say, they, they easy to come like that. You are over there, you have an apartment that is paid for, you have a house that is paid for. If I come there, I would now come as an alien to start all over again. My papa, my mama, everybody, they here. They don't get nothing for there. What are you talking about? There are many people, even if they have a hunt, they have a house, you can't just go there like that. Let me be real with you. People are suffering. Many of our people from Africans, they are suffering in another man's country. I'm telling you the truth. You are wearing Versace, you are wearing Gucci, now your papa make them. Now your uncle design them. Why can't you, rather than making fun of made in Abi, Abba, why can't you also make, make made in Abba something that is nationwide or globally? Why can't you, why, rather than making fun of your own, your own, oh shit man, what the fuck man, what? Rather than making fun of something that you create in society, why not promote it? Why continue to look down at, oh yes, I'm eating American food, I'm eating Indomie. Indomie is not real food. It's not. Promote what you do. Promote your product. Create something. The G-Wagon that you are driving, no be your papa maker. You to create something that you'll be known for. Are you not intelligent enough? Why can't we do our own stuff? Manufacture, imagine, they say Nigeria produce, you know, it comes to agriculture, tomatoes in the world, but they're still importing tin tomatoes that you put in your soup every day. They're still importing Maggi. Imagine, what kind of bullshit is this? They're using generator, generator that, they are, that, that, that they're making in another country, they're bringing it into your country to, kill, to give you pollution so you can die from what kind of diseases. That is ridiculous. Why can't we structure our own stuff? Why can't we create our own stuff? People will carry those me. Don't go, go. Oh, gosh. I can start within the healthcare, within the auto, auto industry. Everything just fucked up. That is ridiculous. It is time for us to get up as a younger generation. Running out is not the solution. Facing the issue is the solution. Standing up and looking within ourselves rather than making fun of, ourse of, of, of ourselves. Somebody will be making fun. Oh, look at this one. You know, you don't even know how to speak English. Oh, tell you, say, Ah, black people are always looking down on each other. They're always looking down, especially Nigerians. English is not my first language, yo. The most powerful leader, one of the most powerful leaders in the world from Russia, when he speaks, when he gives a speech, he does not put in na in name. He does not speak no English. The Chinese leader does not speak English. English is just a general language. It's just a simple communication. It does not define you. You have to define yourself as an individual. Oh, yeah, why do you pronounce word like that? You come here, you speak language to other people. There's no person in this world that does not have an accent. They go tell you, say, mm, please, can you repeat what you say? Mm, what you say? That's what they're going to do. Stop looking down at yourself. Look at your inner ability, a gift that God has given you, and use your common sense. Wake up. Wake up. Richness is something that is internal. It is not external. It is something that is within us that makes us want to generate and create something that pushes us want to create concept and make it work. Richness is internal. It's not something outside. People that have it outside, even when you have it, it will not last. Because they will play with it. But when it's internal, you control it. Rather than looking for a way 
to chase after money. Why not create money? Don't chase money. Create the money. Chasing money, you will chase it forever. But when you create means, you create concept of money, it will work out. Try. I feel like Africa is so blessed. 54 countries, second largest continent in the world. And not a single one can stand out to look at any of the Western world. Partially is not enough. Let's build Nigeria as a nation and stop stop communicating lies. Stop dengo de pose, dengo de dege dege. Stop posing. Stop being fake. Weigh yourself. Let's see your true color. Be honest to people. Tell them the truth. Don't go to Nigeria with your 5,000 naira, $5,000 that you saved up for almost a year to enter Nigeria and start posing to family members and start posing to friends. Tell them the fucking truth. It took you 10 years to even save that money for you to travel to go there anyway. Then you'll, go, you'll come back to America broke, but you're too afraid to talk. Many people will go home. They come back broke. Why do you think it takes your family member to go abroad and it takes them 20 years to come back? By the time you see them, they already have a wood, they already have white hair. It's the truth, it's not easy. It's the also grand. The reason why they cannot come out and tell you easily and just come back easily is because they are stuck. Because they don't have nothing in Nigeria, they don't have nothing here, so they can't just come back like that. They don't have nothing when you don't have a house, you don't have anything. Can you just come back like that? Because they know that they're going to be stuck. They're going to have to start all over again. But you, that you, you know, like I said, what you don't have, you don't have. Create one. But when you don't, when you have something, you're working on it, you're working on it, and it's like you don't have it. It's like you're living in the middle of art. I'm being honest with you. All the property over here, nobody owns anything. America don't own it. The house that you're renting, no, you don't own it. The condo that you're living in, you don't own it. The house that you're living in, you, you are paying mortgage, you don't own it. That is the fucking truth. You've been paying it for more than 33 years. You're probably going to pay it till you fucking die. Your children sometimes cannot even pay it. Imagine. Oh, God. Can I just say this? A person paid the house cost $200,000. They paid $50,000 for the, for the house rent for years. And all of a sudden, they missed three months payment. They, they took it. The bank would take it from you and sell it to somebody else at full price. That is the way it works. They have cars. They pay $20,000 for it. They didn't pay. They paid for like almost a few years. They paid 8000 on it. They didn't pay for two months. They repoed the car. They took the car and sell it to somebody else. That's the way they do. That's the way the system is made. You don't hold nothing here. You, how many in Nigeria can tell you that they hold land in America? You hold land in America. Hold land, Giddy. Why you want hold land? Even the people that hold land, they're still paying taxes. People that own houses, they've paid off. They're still paying taxes. They're paying every fucking thing. They pay... Everything that you have out here, you pay for it. The hair that you breathe, you pay for it. The water that you drink, you pay for it. Everything you pay, you go pay. Nothing like yearly pay, not a monthly rotation. Paycheck to paycheck. Make I tell you straight up. You don't need to like me. Somebody's telling me that, you know, that you're an enemy of progress because I don't want you to come to America. You're a very foolish person. I don't want you to come to America because I don't want you to come somewhere because I see that you are growing. You're in Chevron. You're working for Chevron. You're making almost a million per month. I know some people, they make 20000 I'm coming to that all. You're making a million per month. Your house is paid for. Your car is paid for. What, what the fuck are you looking for again? Why don't you use your common sense to save the money and create something else? What the fuck are you looking for? Then you start borrowing money to come buy this, to come, to, to come start all over again. You'll be mumu, mumu, okonu. Even me that I work, I make more than 6000 per month. I, I, so 3000 per month. I know they get that kind of savings. You don't have no bills to pay for. How stupid, how stu your stupid dad is a stupid dog. How stupid can the person be? Shit. Let's be realistic with ourselves. And the people that are making 20,000 naira per month in Nigeria, 20,000 naira per month. The fact is that they've been able to create means to survive even with that little money. They still survive even if they have to catch by the cash boss. And they smile every day. Over here, you, even when you're making money, you, <laughs> you'll be seeing people like this, you'll be saying hi to them, they're like this. Because they are so angry, their life is, they, they've not even taken a vacation for, for, for only God since, they, since they, it's that eight days that they had when their mother and their father gave back to them. That's, that's the last vacation that they have in their life. 
Women out here have turned to men because they walk to the extent that they become so independent that they don't have respect for men. Because number one, there's no way you can tell a woman to shut up in America. If you tell her to shut up, she will call 911 on you. If you smack her, she will slap you back. What the, what the fuck is wrong with you? How dare you talk to me like that? The women in America, they are not crazy. It is because of frustration. They've been independent for a very long time. You want to date an American baby, you need to come down. It's the truth. This system is a fast system. If you don't hold yourself well, forget about, you know, I will hold on to God. God will hold me. The God in America is the God different from me. God forgive me. Let me not say that much. It's, it's, it's one that you have to really connect your mind. Because it's not easy like that. Make I just say you the truth. Shit, man. It's, it's, it's a different world entirely. America is not a joke. Not for an American. Nothing is on out here. In Nigeria, I see people. They will, there's a government land. Empty land. They will just go there and go build house. They'll carry tree. Put house. Nobody the land or they will carry cement, build something, build shop, and they'll be collecting the money instead of them to be saving the money and be utilizing it for something else. They'll be using the money to them and they go to party. The next thing the government will come pack the land, the, the houses, come destroy the houses. They'll start getting upset. Don't you see that you're stupid? You've been there for more than two to three years, not paying rent, not paying nothing, feeding your family, sending your children, having sex, and creating babies, and sending your children to school all the time. You don't know that one day the owner will come. There's no way in America you can ever do that. No way! You just go to any land, go build a house. Within 24 hours, they'll pick you up. Even people that are living under the bridge. Uh, there's a place that I went to in downtown. More than 300 people living under the bridge. They're homeless. People that were regular and irregular. Meaning that they're regular, maybe they went to the street normal. Because number one, imagine your life living on the, on the street without taking shower for a long time. After a while, you get tired. You start using drugs. Because they've gotten to a stage whereby they, they've become derailed. That is the damn truth. Please, if you're watching me, share this video. I just want people to know the truth because I am tired of it. It is extremely important that we tell each other the truth. It's not easy in the Western world. Our children are prostitutes in Italy. Our children are selling their organs in India. Our children are suffering in Asian countries. They're suffering in North America. They're suffering all across the globe. They're suffering even within Africa. They're suffering in Libya. They're suffering in South Africa. Nigerians, wake up. Leaders, please stop being selfish. It's the truth. 2018, they're going to vote another leader in that office. Make sure that that leader is someone that is sharp and can handle the business. Regardless of how old they are, extremely important. Do not vote because you say yes, sir, yes, sir. Don't say yes, sir, to criminals. Many of the Nigerian leaders, many of them, they have mental problem. They are ridiculous liars. They are liars. They are psychopaths. Many of them, they have skip, uh, skip, uh, schizophrenia, whatever they call it. They have what do they call these people that cannot control their stealing? There's a name for them. Please, I beg if you remember, post it. It's crazy. People, when people cannot control their stealing, there's a name for it. They have medical problem. They're psychologically derailed. Because a person that have common sense, you cannot see your family suffering and not take care of them. The richest man in the world, the richest black man in, in the world is from Nigeria. The richest black woman in the world is from Nigeria. Don't that tell you something? It is very, very important to let you know that you as a person, you have the ability to become whatever it is that you want to be in that society because it's not saturated. I'm trying to start a business in America. It's not easy as you think. You can't just start a business like that. Because everything that you're probably creating, somebody already have it. There's no reason why we'll be having large farms and all those agricultural stuff and, and not be producing our simple thing like tin tomatoes. Imagine, that is ridiculous. Extremely ridiculous. Extremely bad. And you'll be raising your children to be like other people. You're creating low self-esteem in them. You should create and raise your children like a Nigerian. Don't tell them other people are better than them. They are not. They are smart and intelligent. Raise them if you want to teach them Igbo, Igbo Kwenu in school. Teach them. Let them know their language. If you want to teach them um, Yoruba in school, teach them. Let them know their language. And all this fucking tribalistic bullcrap gotta go tribalistic yoruba do not eat ibos ibos do not hate yoruba 
Yoruba do not hate Awusa. Awusa do not hate Ipo. Do not don't hate each other. How can you be hating each other and you you are known as a religious nation? How can you be religious and you have hate in your heart? Don't you know that all of you guys are gonna burn in hell for having hate? It's the truth. Don't hate. Don't not have it in your heart. Learn to forgive. A house without love cannot sustain. They cannot stand. A house that does not have love cannot succeed. They cannot have progress. They will always have causes. A nation without love will not succeed. A city without love, they will not succeed because it is love that brings people together. It is love that makes people work together. It is love that makes people stand together and create something together. But when you don't have love, you will suffer. Pay attention to family members that don't have love. They're always struggling. Because you as a person, if you love your cousin, you can pay for the school fee. They don't stand, oh, hey, keep it secret, keep it secret. Hey, why is it that almost every Nigerian that I know, they are so religious? But for some reason, they're always keeping secret. They are afraid of witchcraft. Imagine the things that you are seeing physically, you cannot fight it. <laughs> now you're worried about things that you cannot see. <laughs> you be mumu. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you know, I just had to throw that in there. The thing that you can see like this, you see, I'm koro koro. You're not worried about it. But the things where you don't see, you don't worry. Ah, shy. Something that did not go on. You understand? The things that you cannot see, people will sit in church from day and night. I read book. I come against. I can get, 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 and they will slam me the table. You understand what I'm saying? When they land is in the village. The grandfather gave them lands. The mother gave them lands. They have land in the village. Rather than for them to carry seed and go plant crops. Hey, I don't want to be a farmer. Me, I cannot carry cutlass. Me, I cannot carry out. Before they have tipa, there was out. Before they have all these caterpillars, there was cutlass. Create something. When you create something, even the Bible said that when you sow a seed and the seed germinates, it means that you have something in your house. Yes. You need to create something. The, you spend 8 to 16 hours in the church and the pastor is only getting richer and driving in. Is the pastor, your pastor is sending me money to help him get a AMG. <laughs> it's the Mercedes Benz. AMG, why you are wearing slippers, my brother, my sister? You are wearing slippers, but I think your pastor is wearing Gucci Aromani. He's sending me money. To get in an AMG Mercedes Benz. Get him a G Wagon for 180000 dollars But you are wearing slippers. You carry that money to that church every day. But you're supposed to wake up and use your mind and know that this thing is not about miracle that we draw from the sky. God already created miracle from Genesis. God created, you know, to let you know how God loved you and high. Before we were created, he created everything and get it ready. It's like somebody getting a dinner table ready. He created art. He created animals. He created all the equipment that you will need. In Genesis, then he created man to come control it. He said, you know what, name it, call it, whatever it is that you want. Take care of these things. Control them. He trained you from Genesis. So why are you worried about revelation? Eh? Your blessing is from Genesis. Why are you worried about tribulation? What, 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 what is going on? Is this brainwash or cause? Please, we need to wake up. Oh. What is not there is not there. Don't worry about it. You have those things in the village. Join and together. Create something. So when you plant the seed by next season, it will yield great crops. Rather than sitting in one place, I beg, I come against. God is not deaf. Oh, God tell me to tell you, he is not deaf. God is not deaf. God tells you to open your eyes and see. It's not deaf. God hears. It is you that you are deaf and you're not willing to see. We need to wake up. Many of our problems in Nigeria is not really government. Even some of the government leaders are blind. Many of the government leaders, they are so far and drunk in brainwash. They are so lost within that low self-esteem thing. We need to have, you know, we have to have self-determination. We have to have that thing. We have to have that assurance that we are capable of doing things. We are not secondary. We have what it takes to make it happen. 
We don't need to be looking up to other words. Yes, we create relationship with other words to make things work, but not looking up to like they are gods when they don't even have what we have when it comes to natural resources. Africa is blessed. The richest, the richest nation in the world is Congo with over 24.1 trillion of natural resources. Everything comes from Congo. Even the Tata, the Tata-like product that they use to create cell phones and computers. Nowhere comes from Congo. Cobalt from bomb, atomic bombs and comes from Congo. Natural gold. The highest percentage of gold in the world comes from Africa. Comes from South Africa. What are you talking about? We need to utilize the things that we have. We don't have to say we have it and be posing with it. But to create better better relationship with all that world not for them to come rig us of our glory and rip us of our success and rip us of, of our blessing but for them to work with us can you come here and steal any of the things you cannot even come out here and steal anything talk less of just you can't you have to work for it it's not free nothing is free in the western world nothing not a single damn thing I'm telling you the truth. It is time for us to stand up. Don't just listen to my shouting voice. I don't care. I apologize if my voice is destroying, you know, is affecting you. But I'm being honest. I just feel like it's time for us, our younger generation. We can't be saying yes, sir, yes, sir, like our father did. No, yes, sir, I will be your papa. We can't. No. Yes, sir, nothing. Respect is reciprocal. You respect me, I respect you. You're not going to be taking things from me and say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Shit. We can't be like that. <laughs> Never. It's extremely important. There is time for us to stand up as the younger generation. We have what it takes. 2018, Nigeria. Be ready to vote for somebody that is intelligent. Someone that is in vigilant pay attention to their family make sure they're not selfish people no people that have been stealing you're gonna vote a governor into presidency and that governor has been stealing he has not done nothing in your state don't that tell you something <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> for me as a person man may god bless every one of us it's very very important that we stand up as people and please we need to start working on that tribalistic issues that we have in nigeria it's not good for us it's not good for the next generation to come you are not better than anybody in God's in God's eye. Everybody is equal. We are all Africans. We are all one. You understand what I'm saying? Children of Abraham, you guys are one. It is extremely important that we know that we can't continue. The longer that we continue to divide, the longer we continue to suffer. Is a cause. You understand? And you know, for many of the people from the northerners, you know, I have this simple message: religion is religion. Common sense is also common sense, you understand? You know, we can have religion, but at the same time still use our mind. We can't use religion to control everything. God gave us religion, but at the same time, it still says seek knowledge that we should use our mind, you understand? It is extremely important that we learn to love one another. We cannot be fighting over cattles and chickens for many years. Igbos, Yorubas, Aousa, Ijo, no matter where you're from, Ibibio, you understand? Whatever it is that you're from, Yoruba, you know, it would take back. As long as you're Nigerian, you're an African, you need to start learning how to live with one another. Stop thinking of how you're going to take shit somebody. Even if you shit somebody, how many years do you guys even have to live on this earth? Imagine. You, you have, maybe if you're lucky enough, you live up to 80, you know, that is if you're lucky, you understand? You know, about 30 years of that time out of your life, probably 20 to 25 years. Okay, let me say 25 to 30 years of that time in your life. The corporation already took part of it because they'll send you to school from the time that you're three years old, you understand? And you stay in school to your high school and you graduate high school if you're lucky, you might be done by your time you're 25 years old and you now look for a job from the age of 25 years old to like you are 30 years old. So they already took like almost 30 years of your, out of your life. And if you're lucky enough to find a woman before you're 25, you know, you might be lucky enough to enjoy, mm -hmm, you understand what I'm talking about? Oh, a man, you know, if you're lucky enough to find a man as a female, you might be lucky enough to enjoy maybe like, you know, about, you know, 10 years of that. So by the time you're 40 years or 45 years old, you come to slow down. Maybe you might this Viagra or something else. You know, maybe you might be lucky to enjoy it up to 50. 
and then you are 50 years old you have like about 20 to 30 years of that rest to enjoy good life if you're not working like if you're not living in america because in america you work till you're 70 no retirement you know what i'm saying even in nigeria sometimes you know you see some of our old ladies in the in the market you understand what am i trying to tell you many of your life i have percentage of your life is taken away by the corporation so at what time do you now have to fight so you use all your life to create a trade and fight and fight and argue and carry sh 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 spoon and knife and carry cutlass <laughs> and what are the life is short so go long life is very short go long create means of happiness it is very very important don't just fight 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 learn to forgive learn to grow you understand what I'm saying? And understand that, I repeat, which is the title of this video. Take it or leave it. Richness is not something that is external. It's not on the outside. It's within. Don't let anybody look down on you and say that you're poor. You're not. You're extremely rich. Everybody is gifted. Everybody has an ability to create something. Everybody has their own gift. God gave it to you from Genesis. It is input to you. Richness is something that makes you want to be something, create something, be useful in society. Richness is not laziness, to be resourceful, to be, you know, to be something. Richness is that thing that gives you that drive to stay put, to continue to survive as an individual, regardless of where you are. Not just things that you've acquired. Sometimes people might dash you something, but you will not value it. But when you work for it, ah, I have to protect this. So that is what is it? Nothing else. May God bless every one of you guys. Let me just read some comments and quickly answer and I'll get out of here. God bless every one of you guys and thank you as always. Um, let me see. <laughs> this guy say, Abu Karim Suleiman say, come back to Nigeria. I'm working on it. You understand? I can't just take off like that and just land in Nigeria like that. Oh, last time I went, I ran out of money. I'm telling you, now me come to borrow money from Nigeria to come back to America. I have to be real with you. I'm not, I'm not lying. If I stay here and they lie to you, now Mayaki, I can come with Mayaki right now. Mayaki, please, I beg, if you borrow me 10,000 era, Mayaki say, ah, you know, auntie, what did it happen now? I say, you know, when I get to America, I'll send it back to you. You understand? Within one week, I finish that money. <laughs> now call somebody else. Michael, if Abuja, Michael, please, if you can just send me 40,000 era, you know, easy like that. So, you know, and I come America. Two years, it took me two years to recover from one month trip to Nigeria. I'm being honest with you. I don't know about other people, but I know that most people that go to Nigeria, when they come back, they will come do double job. Double shift <laughs> to recover the money. <laughs> Even after they recover the money, many times, you know, like my girlfriend in California, she said to her, she's still recovering, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. I think she don't go to Nigeria now for like three years. <laughs> she's still recovering. So it's not as easy as you guys think. If you're already living in Nigeria, you're blessed, you understand, you have your house, it's paid for, you're renting it. So even in Nigeria, even if you don't have a house, you can go squat with your aunties. Your, your auntie can never say, get out. There's this natural love that we have in Nigeria, that we have in Africa, that does not exist in the Western world. So far, so far, so far has made people lack love. Because if you go stay with somebody, how yeah, they'll tell you. But after three days, um, the rent is $200 or so. Ah, I'm so sorry. I know you'll be your sister, I'll be your brother, but um, <laughs> the rent now two hundred dollars. Even though they know you know I have job, they're giving you sign to go get job. Even when you pay that money, self, sometimes you still have issues because that love thing. Forget. Even my neighbor, I don't know my neighbor. Nobody knows each other. How he everybody to their own thing. In Nigeria, you have neighbors. Even your neighbor go every Friday. Everybody go. Hey, what did they happen now for your side? Ah, you know, one gum eat as soon. You know, everybody go just sit down. They enjoy each other. That thing now only in Africa. I know they exist in America. Now walk, come, come back. And weekend, you might be lucky. You show up at one party. Oh, I'm the party. That is it. Nothing else. I'm being honest. That love tint and talent love. Forget. Yeah, and if you're lucky to have a boyfriend, maybe a a wife or whatever. That relationship, that is when you might say you love, you know, you old and take pictures together, smoosh a little bit. But that love thing, you know, there's this. Before you see a person in Africa or Nigeria that they're homeless on the street, they don't have a house, that means, say, they left from their village to the city or maybe they won't go try something. Maybe they don't know somebody in that environment. Or they have met a problem and the family abandoned them. You know, they exist. Even when I was in Nigeria, in Agege, in Surulere, 
in Ajegunle, I they see people where they live together, ten people in one bedroom every night. I bet cross your head, in your own head, they go towards the Muslim side, or they, they go east. My own head, they go west. <laughs> you know, Christian side. You know, <laughs> make a stop. Everybody, you go just see you no know, scatter. You know, if you get that, you go just put your leg, hold up, hold them up like this. You understand? You don't know, see my leg, I they hold my head up. I'm being honest. Now, so where they sleep, <laughs> you know, I'm money time. Hey. Your own bread, they like this. I <laughs> guy, you know, I go shop Gary and peanuts. Everybody just they live their life, then they laugh. That you know, they exist for a year. I'm being honest with you. Even people who get mansion, they get houses. They can't just put anybody in their house. They will tell you that you know, I need my privacy. And if you need, they don't need the privacy. Ah, you can't pay the rent. You cannot live here. It's only few, extremely small, that put it upon themselves to help people in the Western world. Not that many. I'm being honest with you. So that's just it. Oh my God. Oh, thank you so much for the compliment, Bottle T. What happens to your hair? Ah, my Nigerian hair. Shy. No be small team, man. Provocators. This is my Nigerian hair. I smell like Nigerian. I love my ninja hair. No be small team. Shy, shy, shy. <laughs> this one to be Brazilian. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. They rock my Nigerian. <laughs> Someone said the video stop. I think your network is messed up. <laughs> Don't worry. My network, they mess up here too, depending on the area. <laughs> oh my God, man. Prince Oyakishi, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the compliment. Mosoti, thanks. I will hear me, Rachel. Oh, yeah, Bola. You know, like, seriously, please tell them. Always love your sister. Thanks. Oh, she can take it twice. You know, I always call it our uh, Francis, big coach. Stop shouting, Joe. <laughs> No problem. I shout when I'm like trying to pour out the energies, like when the pastor is preaching and is like telling you a rebuke in the name of uh <laughs> when the pastor is preaching, they speak with with boldness, you know, because I want to you know <laughs> call me the pastor of um of life. <laughs> Oh my God, man. I love every one of you guys. I know you blunt for the truth. Ask them why they can't use their air to start up a trade. Then allow themselves to be sold as lived in Libya because they want to travel abroad. I think when people are desperate, their brain shut off. That's why I always tell people it's no good to be desperate. Even in a relationship as a single person, if you are single, and you see everybody, environmental pressure can push people to do things sometimes, you understand? We have to really look at that. You know, and sometimes social issues can also do that. Political issues can also do that. But when you're a rich person, you hold yourself. You think of yourself first before you think of the outside. Because it's what is on the outside that push people. Because number one, you look at somebody else like, oh my God, this person is living in a big house. Is driving it. No, no, no. The thing about it is this. Are you a rich person inside? Can you control yourself? You need to value yourself first. When you have self-value for yourself, you will do everything to protect yourself. As a female, you will not sell your body for money. Like me, I can boldly tell you, in my whole entire life, I have never, not a single time, this is for a woman, no, I have a sugar daddy because there's no need for it. Before you pay me for my toto, I swear, I swear, <laughs> you know, it's not it. That's why they carry burugudu. I carry everything. I, I don't drive taxi. I don't. I mean, the kind of way I don't do for this for this world. If I tell you, you go just say no, never. Because you know, I'm rich. I have so much value for me. That ah, oh boy, don't be smarting. I know they easy like that, oh. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you so, but I think it's self-value. We have to have self-value as people. When we value ourselves, we're not going to do things that will cage us, like put us in jail. We're not going to do things that will get us in trouble. When we have self-value for ourselves, we're not going to steal, go to public places. We're not going to try to harm anybody because when you have self-value for yourself, you're also going to protect somebody else. We're not going to commit crimes that will mess up our life or give us bad reputation when we have self-value for ourselves we're not going to sell ourselves for nothing we're going to think of a way to survive because number one when you are not thinking about problems 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 and you relax your mind you know what is going to happen to you solution will come in you know those great energies those great angels that god created they work with positive energy they work with clear mind we have to clear our mind, you know, so I'm saying, so we can be able to reason well and think of solution rather than the easy way out. Don't be a quitter. Don't look for easy way out. I think, you know, desperation can push people to things. And I think that is the situation with many people going abroad. You understand? For me, like I said, I didn't come out here because of desperate issues. I came here because I didn't have a choice. 
children go where their parents go and that was my situation so that's just it you know i you know i pray for everybody you know to come out of, out of their issues and continue to have values for themselves and protect themselves you know i pray for all those children across the globe may god almighty help them because there's no reason why a child should go with arms and legs and come back with empty barrier and there's no reason why a child should go abroad and they're going to return the dead body because i hate so many cases of things like that and people will be like you know concern me it's not my none of my business it's your business because it's your brother and sister oh yes there were 50 people in the bus and i survived it is a miracle it is not a miracle god let you survive that situation so you can create awareness that the transportation system in nigeria is fucked up that is it because out of the whole world nigeria came second in the world with road hazard accident go to who world health organization and go do your research and it came first in the whole of africa while you are worried about witches and wizards in your village, the greatest witches and wizards in the world is mosquito. And it's claiming many people and creating all kind of air fever diseases and all kind of, you know, the diseases and all kind of issues in society. While you are claiming angel, I am angel, I am angel. Now, percent of those people that die from those diseases come from Nigeria, by the way. While you are claiming angel and you're better than earlier than thou, and you are going to church and you're singing church music, you don't tell anybody that you're doing doggy style. 6.8 million, 6.8 to like almost 8 million uncountables babies are being aborted every year. Why are you every year in Africa? Why are you are claiming to be better than this HIV still keep people and other sexual transmitted STD diseases till today? So for me as a person, rather than claiming to be better, children are dying every day. There was more than two stories that I heard of in Nigeria recently in the hospital. Not only children that are dying, but not mothers people that are pregnant let me just put it out there because i started these videos people are having issues right and creating run out run out run out why not create solution there is no problem in this world that does not have solution i'm being honest with you but when we have solution mind we'll stop thinking of ways of running out you understand because this is crazy man and if you see people that i work with you're a nigerian but because you're embarrassed to say you're in Nigeria, people will ask you, you will hear them with a thick accent at workplace. Um, and my father is from, and they will start, they will start doing this. They don't want to accept that they are Nigerians. Why a Congolese or somebody from Ivory Coast, they ask them where you're from. They say I'm from Ivory Coast, but Nigeria will be speaking special English. You don't want to sound like you're from Nigeria. The thing about it is this, you're a Nigerian or oh, be yourself. Be, be proud. Be proud of being a human being. You understand what I'm saying? Be proud of being black. You're great. You understand? It's true, you know, division set us to our barriers created locations. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's not how God wanted it, but we uh, created it. So now, by the colonies and the uh, globalists. But the fact is this. No matter what area you belong to, you can either say, I am from Hat or I am from Nigeria. Pick your choice. Be proud. Ah, I beg, man. <laughs> But government is not going doing anything. I agree with you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not all government. I probably say zero point one percent of the government. You know, those ones that have common sense are trying, but we are not seeing their ability. <laughs> you know, but at the same time, I heard this man wait time we say if somebody continue to beat you, they wank you, they wank you, they wank, they beat you every day, and you sit down there. Who is this fool? Yes, I'll say it's you now. The person that sit down there. But when you don't stand up and talk, and so when somebody's talking, you shut them off. Then you that means you like suffering. Imagine I was in Nigeria for one look at one location, run about accident more than 15 in one month, which I know claimed lives of people. And that run about was there till I left Nigeria. This that can never happen out here because of a simple negligence sign that they could have posted. Put a sign there, let people see with their tukoro koro eyes. Say this is a fucking runabout. And people just running bosa, bosa, bosa. Ah! That can never happen. Negligence. Okoyla, okoyna, make a say it in Yoruba. Light. That's uh, the, 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 the electricity pole fell on the street. It was there for one week. And they did not put sign. Cars would be turning around and people would be okay with it. That is simple negligence that, that can be avoided. We just be claiming the life of people. And people to the, the people, sometimes people just act like they don't think. You know, you have a gutter. The gutter it is to help. You don't even have enough gutter because, especially in Lagos, the state is flat. You don't have enough gutter. And the little gutter that you have, you will now be throwing trash in it. 
Carry your trash home. If you are going home, carry your trash. Put them for your breast or put them for your underwear as a man. Carry your trash home. Don't throw. If you see anybody throw trash, tell them pick it up. You throw trash inside the tent and the rain will fall and flood up your own society and kill people. This is crazy. You know, man, all this thing, man. If you like me to come to Nigeria, buzz me. Start donating. I will come to Nigeria. Donate. Put money together. I will come to Nigeria. Don't give your pastor money again. <laughs> You understand? You can pay me to tell you the truth. You know? <laughs> I will deliver you. <laughs> God forgive us. God will deliver all of us. You know? <laughs> oh my God, man. Go on, my dear. Don't be swatted. Uh, shy. Moses of the Amma is only lazy and clueless people that blame the government for not giving them free food when their hands are not cut off to do things for their own, something for their own country. There's an endurance. Um, I want to agree to disagree. I don't agree on that level. There are some things that governments have to have in place. And there are some things that citizens also have to do. You understand? For me as a person, it's pretty simple. You as a leader, be a great leader. I'll repeat that. You as a leader, be a great leader so you can have good followers. Because if you're not a great leader, you're not going to have a good followers. And you as a follower, also be a good follower. Because if you don't be a good follower, then you're going to be useless. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel like Nigerian government is 100% distance from its own citizen. Even within the government, they have issues. You understand? Like, for example, the state government does not even work well with FEDRA. And Fed, uh, state, state government does not even work well with local government. You understand? There are some documents that you will collect from the local government. And it's not even accepted on the state level because they don't recognize anything is fraud. They need to create a uniform system. Sorry, guys, the network messed up for one second. The system should be more of a uniform system, you understand? And they're not utilizing it. The state should work with the government, I mean, with the federal, and the federal should work with the state. There's no reason why a state should be telling federal, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, because they feel like they hold a better or bigger or higher authority. No, there's nothing like yes, sir. <laughs> you know, work together. This is not a kinship type. I think Nigeria is not getting over that kinship system, you understand? That, you know, HRM or whatever you want to call it you know the queen and the king system then we should go back to that system where we respect our kings you understand what i'm saying and our queens you know we need to differentiate from the law of the land versus the law that was created by the government you understand you see that we go back to that system the old system whereby we say yes a car, a CEO, or we go back to the city we stay with the system that we have right now because it's easy for you even as an individual to see a citizen take law into their hand versus the government actually doing their part you understand like a good example you know people cash thieves they just stone the thieves to death straight up like it's 1700 years ago you understand you think that would not happen in nigeria in 2017 but it's happening every day and not only that it's easier for you to see a police officer that owns a position getting bribes on the street to feed his family because the money that they're paying him from the government is not even enough because most police average police make about twenty dollars twenty thousand to like forty thousand dollars i mean forty thousand so twenty twenty thousand naira correction to forty thousand naira per month which is very little it's not even up to maybe hundred and five or hundred and ten dollars per month you understand so to me i mean of this police are in the United guys i'm so sorry my network is messing up they need to create a uniform system then when they do that then you know then the citizen also have to play their own role as a great followers and do what it, whatever it is that they have to do you understand so that's that's my take on that it is extremely important that we have to have that and when it comes to the people yes we have to continue to do our best to survive you understand let's just act like we don't have a government <laughs> But we do. <laughs> so that's just the way it is. You know, I'm going to read just a few more comments and I'm out of here because my network is mess messing up. God bless you guys. You know, how can you create good private hospital without electricity? Uh, we can get rid of all the generators in Nigeria. Imagine if every Nigeria was to wake up tomorrow or maybe you as a person create a movement that says every Nigeria bring out your generator because number one before generator you have atupa, you have light, you have the regular 
candle or whatever, you understand? Everybody should get rid of their regenerator. That one generator out of Nigeria will come together, even as a state. Trust me, you'll get rid of it. You understand? It's so easy. Because number one, the reason why generator is still in Nigeria is because one person is making money from it. Somebody's making money from it. Because number one, they're looking at it like it's cheaper for them to sell you a machine and collect the cash up front versus do them doing electricity system that will make you pay monthly <laughs> you understand so either way even if you have generated uh, electricity system you're still gonna have to pay you understand it's not free so are you ready to pay you that you're asking for <laughs> for electricity electricity is not free electricity out here in america we pay average of 50 dollars to like almost uh my god to like almost hundred and eighty dollars depending even people that have bigger property they pay up to like one thousand dollars per month that is how much it costs it's not a free system you have to be ready for, to pay for it so you should be thinking of them creating more jobs like similar to what dangote is trying to do dangote is trying to create a, <laughs> a system not just dangote people that are bigger than you know whatever people need to create more jobs in society and create more system that works you understand it's not just electricity that is nigerian system vote don't count in nigeria my beautiful system watching from Bristol, Switzerland. Oh, I know he doesn't. <laughs> but still vote. It's better I suffer abroad than in Nigeria. <laughs> my sister. <laughs> oh my God, people. Sister politicians already conquered Nigeria youth. Mm. I don't like that statement. You know, I don't think anybody can conquer me as an individual. It's all individual choice. If you believe that you've been defeated, then you stay in that position. You know, as an individual, but if you feel like you can still stand for yourself, I say stand for yourself and start speaking out. They don't know, my dear sister, me or not respect people with the same school, with country in Nigeria. I have come to understand that people, you know what, I'm going to like jump over many comments. I really appreciate all your comments. And already there's a secret quote. If you don't, <laughs> this is a good one. I like stuff like this. Abroad is like a secret court. If you don't come, you, you will not know. That is the truth. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> oh my God, man. We must hate each other until contraption is dissolved. Someone is proposing to me. Yes. <laughs> I'll marry you through Facebook. <laughs> oh my God. Someone say, God forbid, I, I did say, God forbid that thing. No more war in Nigeria. There will never be war in Nigeria. Let me just tell you, we the youths, we don't want war. We want to live good life. We want to live in mansions. We want to drive nice cars. We want to live and enjoy our life. You understand? That's what we want to do. While the old people are always thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> It's ridiculous, you understand? We don't want that shit, man. What the fuck? You know, we don't want none of that stuff. Sorry for my language, I cost a lot. We need young people in the government because we need to change the mentality of the old people. I agree with you. We need young people in many offices in Nigeria. Like when I went to the embassy in Nigeria and many of the offices don't even have computers because many of those people they are used to pen and paper you understand imagine i was having an embassy with enough equipment there's no reason why an embassy should have just two computers that is ridiculous you need to put all those old men in retirement and hire our young peppy boys and girls that you're sending to nyse is that a new york Shh. stock exchange okay <laughs> you, know, you know we need to put them in the right position let people Young people walk and do the job because their brain is sharp. I'm not saying that the old people are whole though. They are they they are experienced, they are great people, but they can at least enlighten our youth in a way, you know, through their great experiences and things and accomplishments, but we need technology, <laughs> you know, we need young peppy people. And at the same time, within the political system, you know, the old should stop distancing themselves. This is not a kingship system whereby a person will be telling you, yes, sir, yes, sir. You know, this is the question. Can you get the job done? You know, you know, so basically the older generation should work with the younger generation, you know, work hands on hands. The distance between the youngest and the old is too far. It doesn't make sense. We need to come together and make it work together. That's all I have to say when it comes to that. So you did make a very, very great point, Asan. I understand. So, um, but how can we do without like security and road? All those things can happen with you and high we can do it we can have more roads in nigeria we can have more light i'm very optimistic if i'm not i will not be recording this video so we need to continue to have that great positive mind nigeria can be great again 100 it depends on you as an individual you understand 
Oh my God, but the almighty, but the mighty revolution has already begun. Biafra are already making a hell of noise and awareness all over the world. All we need is to become victorious in consistence and persistence against all odds. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. 100%, I try not to talk much because I don't belong to a sect. As a Nigerian, I stand as a Nigerian, you understand, because I believe in one, because God is one. As an African, I stand as an African because I believe in oneness. As a person from art, I stand as one because I believe in oneness, but I don't like shitting. You understand? But at the same time, when there's shitting, I'm going to stand. You understand? So you know what? There's no reason for you to be shitted. You understand? So for me, when it comes to Biafra movement, I've got nothing against it. If that is the movement that will make Nigeria great again as a nation after the divide out of Nigeria, no problem. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Either you divide it or you cut it or you make it into different or change it to 15 tribes or keep it as one tribe. The question is, can our people, our children survive and live a great life? There's the thing. You understand? So for me as a person, if God is going to divide, he's going to divide. If he's going to keep it together, he's going to keep it together. But at the same time, I don't want anything that will sh shed blood. You understand? I don't want anything that will cause more issues for more people. I just want people to live normal and hippo person to live a regular life. A Yoruba person to live a regular life. Uh, a Hausa person to live a regular life. Let people be at peace. Even now, some people that people are attacking have been a fool and the people that people are attacking. Many of them are dying from all kinds of prolific diseases and suffering. Many of them are hard of work. Many of them are still going in front of us or go Google and still shouting at President Buhari, give us job, oh, give us job, oh, our children are suffering. Oh. So to me, nobody has it made within the East, the West, the North and the South. Nobody has it made anyhow. People are suffering round the clock. 260 days, 65 days a year or hard more to it. I'm being honest with you. So I want happiness and peace for each and every individual in Nigeria, not just limited to one sect or one location. So I don't agree with many things and also I don't, I don't disagree with many things. So anything that bring light into the issues that we have right now going on in Nigeria, I stand with it. So that's all I have to say when it comes to that. But thanks for your comment. Africa will continue to be a backward continent. I reject, I come against with your statement. I rebook you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I rebook you in the name of God. <laughs> oh my God. Until we shun, okay, you know, whatever in the comments and stop being stupid. Africa will continue to be a backward continent until we shun religion and embrace innovative and progressive thought. One would have expected that with the number of churches springing up these days that, that had, compared to the rate of crime, prostitution, and social vices, and would have reduced, but rather they'll keep increasing. You have a very great point, my uh, Shigoze Okeshuku. You understand? Now I bless you, you know. May more blessing visit you. May you continue to progress. And, you know, for me, it's pretty simple. Vatican. Is in Italy, one of the most corrupted place, or should I say, country, in the world, with many children, many of our kids on the street, prostituting their body and selling their body. Nigeria, one of the most religious places, they are afraid of simple things like witchcraft. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And they commit all kind of atrocity from stealing to manipulating people out of reality. You understand what I'm saying? Worst political system in the world. Every half of kind of issues in the world. And upon that, there's this slamming table. Don't that tell you something? I'm going to have to leave that position for you to judge. You understand? But I already said it in the beginning of my video. Use your mind. You understand? Religion is religion. But we still have to have common sense. You understand? We have to continue to use that thing. God gave you that rules upon your life to take care of this art. To be productive. To live a purposeful life. To create something. Not for you to fold your hand and be waiting for manna to drop from the heaven. Manna will never drop. Oh, It will never drop. Let me, let me make I just tell you right now. It will never drop. You understand? Because manna was given to you in Genesis. So utilize what you have. That's it. So I agree with you. I'm going to just read a couple comments and I'm out of fear. God bless every one of you guys. And uh, thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you guys. You know, <laughs> Libyan Mohammed, Oge Bright, Vincent, you know. Thank you guys. Joshua Agbo and Inamani Gabriel, Lillian Mo Oh my God. Hey. Oh, 
Odola, Halale Khan. Thank you for being a devoted follower. Everybody, Odola is a very great man. Halale Khan has been a very great follower for a very long time. You understand? I think since I started this page, he's been there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, Nigeria is a society country of rich men. No one care for the poor. I'll probably say that most society that have rich people, no one really care for poor. But the people that believe they are poor because i don't believe anyone is really poor because i already told you that that is a state of mind richness is something within is internal it's something that make you feel like you are fulfilled you understand you you can survive you you can sustain you understand as an individual so for me it depends on that poor person you understand if your poor person is waiting for somebody to care for them or you have a dependent mind you're going to continue to suffer and you're going to continue to look at the rich person rich people don't even have a perfect life either you understand what I'm saying? The question is, can you sustain, can you survive? So to me as a person, you have to be willing to either adapt or adjust every day of your life, you understand? So to me, no society in the world where the poor care for the rich. The poor are chasing after the rich people either to rob them out of reality or to commit all kind of crime to take from them. What also the rich? constantly oppressed so it's a game of off and on but for me right now is you stand as an individual and do what you feel like is best in society without arming somebody and continue to live a good life so that's just it i'm gonna leave you in that position to judge abroad is a battleground whereby you don't go back home empty <laughs> tell me do you know that this young guy you're talking about are too much money minded okay you know what i'm going to just read this last few comments i want to say thank you guys i pob at quarter at italian abina lilian mohammed john kelly aita and what is called and um can talk can can talk without calling nigeria that's your choice you understand you know for me many places across the globe we're colonized, you understand? We are living in a globalization world whereby globalists divided everything. They are that 1% leader of the world that controls the world. And I can tell you many countries were created and even given name. But either somebody call you a name, your father, your mother creates a name for you. That does not mean that you have to stand by that name. You can also create a name for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Be yourself. Create a life for yourself that is meaningful for yourself. You can love yourself. You understand? Because name is just a description. You understand what I'm saying? It's just, uh, it's just a title. You understand? It's not a definite definition. You have to be willing to define your life the way you want to live, the way you want to be as an individual. You understand? And, you know, because you're given a name does not mean anything. You understand so that's just the, that's just the way i see it as, as an individual you know somebody can call me jackass but i know i'm not a jackass people call me stupid i know that i'm not stupid you understand what i'm saying even though i might have stupid sometimes <laughs> you know <laughs> but that's just the way it is you know i am who i am at the end of the day it's all about what god called me or what god calls me you understand God calls me great, wonderful, marvelous, you understand, beautiful, you understand? That's all the things that God called me. So regardless of what anyone else have to say, I don't care, you understand? So I'm not really from Nigerian. I'm from heart because God owns art. Does that make sense? But I came from a location in Nigeria. <laughs> May God bless some of you guys. Let me get out of here. God bless you guys. <laughs> Take care. Who is ready to make change in Nigeria? Trust me. Get ready to fight war with our leader. The war that we're going to win. Because many of them are packing their load, by the way. They're living. Because God is taking them one by one. <laughs> what am I telling you? No matter what, one day everybody must pack their load now. Shy. God bless you guys. Take care. May God give my people the mind to reason and the eyes to see all the great and the wonderful things around them. For them to recognize themselves. You understand? For them to walk and create a better tomorrow. Okay, let me start. To create a better today and to create a better tomorrow. <laughs> May God bless everyone, guys. Love you guys.